Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So I have found perhaps the most, so far, uh, difficult or challenging question of uh, differentiation. And uh, this, by the way, is from IGCSE, the February-March attempt uh, to 2022. Okay, so quite recent. And uh, it's, yeah, it's it's surprisingly challenging. And uh, if you're if you're one of those who managed to do this correctly, then, you know, let me know in the comment section. I have mad, mad respect for you. Uh, but yeah, uh, so let's, let's get straight to it and read the question and see exactly how we're gonna solve this, okay? So it says here, the diagram shows a right triangular prism, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna point exactly towards where the prism is. So this is the prism of height h inside the right pyramid. So the bigger shape that you see, basically O, A, B, C is the pyramid, okay? The pyramid has height of 12 and a base that is an equilateral triangle A, B, C. So here you can see that the height is 12 and the base is an equilateral triangle of side eight centimeter. The base of the pyramid, so the base of the prism, sorry, sits on the base of the pyramid, okay? So we can see that. And points P, Q, and R lie on the edges OA, OB, and OC respectively of the pyramid OA, B, C. Pyramids OA, B, C, and O, P, Q, R are similar. Okay, so this is very important because I'm gonna be using this piece of information later on, okay? Show that volume of the triangular prism is given by V is equals to, you know, under root three upon nine, AHQ plus BH squared plus CH, where A, B, and C are interiors to be found. So it's actually part A that's challenging. Once you've done part B, then, you know, uh, part A, then part B becomes, nat naturally becomes easier. Okay, now, so first of all, if I wanna find out the volume of the prism, which is right over here, now this being a prism means that its volume is going to be one upon three into base, oh, sorry, not one upon three, actually, it's gonna be base area into height, okay? That's what I was about to say was for a pyramid. So basically, volume, or I'll just write V of prism, is equals to base area times height, okay? And height we can see is equal to H, okay? Now, as far as base area goes, base area is basically triangle PRQ, okay? It could also be the triangle right underneath it, okay? But since we don't have any uh, letters to it, okay? So we're gonna be using triangle PRQ. So it's basically area of the shape that I'm now highlighting in blue. Okay, so base area is basically area of triangle P, Q, R, okay, P, Q, R. So that's what we're looking for, basically. We're looking for area of triangle P, Q, R. So that means whatever we're gonna do now, we're gonna do it in order to find out the area of triangle P, Q, R. Now, at the end, the question told us that the two pyramids that we're looking at are basically similar, okay? So how does that help? Well, we can find out the volume of the entire pyramid, okay? How can we do that? Volume of pyramid, volume of pyramid and which pyramid are we talking about over here we're talking about o a b c o a b c is basically equal to 1 upon 3 times base area times the height which we know as 12 okay so volume of pyramid okay volume of pyramid is equals to 1 upon 3 times the base area now the base is basically a triangle sorry not this one the base is basically a triangle. It's an equilateral triangle, not according to me, according to the question. So that means we can find out its area very easily by taking half into eight into eight into sine 60. So I'll just make some room. Oops, sorry about that. Let me just erase that. Okay, into sine 60, bracket close, multiplied by the height of the pyramid, which is 12, you can see over here, okay? Okay, so three ones are three, three fours are 12, two ones are two, Two fours are eight. Four into eight is thirty-two. Thirty-two times four is basically sixty-four. One twenty-eight. Okay. So I'll just I'll just do this in the calculator. Okay. So point five into eight into eight into sine sixty. Okay. And make sure that you give your answer in um, exact form. Okay. Because uh, that's what is that's the format in which it's given in the question. Okay. Um, into four divide by three, okay. So we are looking at 64 under root three. Remember to keep your answer in exact form because uh, that's the only way that it's gonna match, okay? So 64 under root three is basically the volume of which pyramid? It is basically the volume of pyramid O, A, B, C, okay? So we're gonna be needing this, which is why I'm gonna copy this. 
So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. Okay. Now at the beginning, if you remember, the question told us that uh, at the beginning, no, not actually at the beginning, but what I've highlighted over here, that pyramids O, A, B, C and O, P, Q, R are similar. Okay. That means that the, we can apply the volume formula. Okay. V1 upon V2 is equals to L1 upon L2, the whole thing cube. Okay. So that means volume of basically O, P, Q, R, O, P, Q, R upon the volume of O, A, B, C is going to be equal to the cube of the ratio of their heights. I mean, the ratio of the heights cubed, okay? So if you look at the height of the smaller pyramid, which is right over here, let me switch to a different color. Actually, I've made this diagram over here, so let's use this. So if you look at the height of the small, smaller pyramid, we can see that this height is basically going to be equal to 12 minus h. Reason for that is very simple, is because the height of the entire pyramid is 12, and the height of the smaller uh this, this prism this part is h so that means this height is going to be 12 minus h okay so that means 12 minus h upon height of the entire pyramid which is 12 the whole thing cubed okay how does this help well this will help us find out in terms of h of course the volume of opqr which is the smaller pyramid so volume of opqr upon 64 under root 3 is basically equal to 12 minus h, the whole thing cubed. Now, since we can work out the value of 12 cubed, I'm gonna do just that. So 12 cubed is equals to 1728, okay. So we're almost there. Now, if we cross multiply, we can find out the volume of OPQR, which is equal to, so 64 under root three into 12 minus h, the whole thing cubed upon one seven to it. Now you must have noticed that I haven't simplified anything yet. Okay, we'll do that towards the very end. Okay. Now that we have the volume in terms of h, how exactly is that going to help us? Well, theoretically, the volume of the pyramid OPQR, which I'm now going to make outline, can basically be worked out by using the formula one upon three into base area into height. Okay. So that means one upon three into base area, which is nothing but the area of triangle PQR into its height, which is 12 minus H is basically equal to what is basically equal to 64 under root three into 12 minus H, the whole thing cubed upon one, seven, two, eight. Okay. I hope you can see where I'm going with this. Okay. So how exactly is this going to help us? This is going to help me determine the area of triangle PQR. Okay. So what happens is this 12 minus H gets canceled out and we reduce the power of 12 minus h the whole thing cubed by one okay now i think now is a good idea to simplify so let's divide 64 by 1728 so we get 1 upon 27 so 1 upon 27 so this actually let's just do it over here 1 upon 27 and then this 3 is going to get multiplied by this one because we're going to cross multiply okay so we're going to end up with 3 upon 27 okay so triangle PQR, area of triangle PQR is basically equal to 3 upon 27, or better yet, you know what you can do, instead of writing 3 upon 27, 3 ones are 3, 3 nines are 27, okay? So since we're, uh, since I want to keep the diagram in front, okay, so I'm just uh, using the space over here. I mean, I'm not using any more space, just using the space over here. So this gives us root 3 over 9 into 12 minus h, the whole thing squared, okay? Now that we have the area of triangle PQR, that means now we can actually do what? Now we can actually determine the volume of the prism, which we said is basically going to be area of triangle PQR, area of triangle PQR into height. All right, we wrote that over here, as you can see. So area of triangle PQR is basically root three over nine. Now I'm gonna expand this. So 12 squared is 144 minus 24 H. Remember to use the identity plus h squared, okay? So that's the area of triangle multiplied by the height because that's what the height of the prism is, okay? So that should give us the volume. So the volume is equal to root three upon nine. And now we can uh, multiply this. So we have 144h minus 24h squared plus h cubed. Okay, let's write this nicely. So v is equals to under root three upon nine h cubed minus 24h squared plus 144h. And this is exactly what the question wanted. Yep, ah cubed plus bh squared plus ch and with root three over nine on the outside. So that means a is equals to one, b is equals to minus 24, 
and C is equals to 144. So I really hope you've understood what I've done. Okay, if you haven't, I'd suggest you watch the video again. But uh, to give you a summary, so basically we used the concept of similar objects. Okay, we worked out the volume of the smaller pyramid in terms of H, of course, okay, using the volume of the bigger pyramid. And then we equated the volume, which we worked out in terms of H over here, uh, yeah, over here with the volume of the pyramid, which is 1.3 into base area into height. That gave us the base area. And this base area is basically the area that we are going to use for prism. And once we have the area of the cross section or the base area, then we multiplied that by height to get the volume of the prism, which is now equal to what it is, okay. Now part B is fairly simple, okay, given that you managed to do part A. It says it is given that H varies, V has a maximum value, okay, so that means dV upon dH is equals to zero, and you have to find the value of H that give, yeah, so that basically means dV upon dH is equals to zero, okay. So what's volume? Volume, as we can see, is root three upon nine into H cubed minus 24H squared plus 144H, so we're gonna differentiate this. So we're gonna let the root three upon nine be as it is. Okay, root three upon nine be as it is. And this is gonna be three h squared minus 48h plus 144. Okay, let's set this equal to zero. Okay, let's do this in the same step. Okay, so that means we're looking at, so this entire thing is gonna go over to the other side, get divided by zero. And um, I mean, zero is gonna be, uh, yeah, get divided by zero. So basically root three, zero divided by anything is equal to zero. Yeah, that's what I mean to say. So three h square minus 48h plus 144 equals to zero. Now we can't take three common, but you know, we can just use your calculator to save time. Obviously that's not what we're gonna do in the exam, but right, let's use our calculator. So three minus 48 and 144. So we're looking at h is equals to 12 or h is equals to four. Okay, now at this point you have to decide what value of h you're going to take, okay? Now remember, so basically, if you, if you have a good look over here, so the smaller height is h and the larger height is 12. So that means there's no way h can be equal to 12. The only value of h, the only possible value of h that we can have over here is four. So that means we're gonna give our final answer as four. And yeah, that's it. Uh, there's, no, there's no following part to it. So again, I really hope you've understood this question. I really hope you've enjoyed the solution of this question. You know, that's, that's the more important part. And yeah, that's about it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this on this question in the comment section. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.